All right, guys. Hello. Okay. Um, I have a skeleton drawing here. You guys should all be very capable of getting to this point. This is when we really, like, it's not loose anymore. We're getting exact. We're doing our best to um, make sure that it is um, accurate. And it's going to be on the 18 by 12 paper in the bottom of the drawing cabinet. Okay, so it's going to be a little scaled down from what you've been practicing on. And I want you to fill your paper. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we talked about positive and negative space. I have uploaded a video to um, the positive and negative space skeleton topic, which is what this assignment is. And um, it's where I went into detail on what positive and negative space is. So now that we're aware of what positive and negative space are, you can see I have a positive drawing here of a rib cage of the skeleton. However, in the background here, there's lots of little kind of confusing negative space holes. We're gonna make it less confusing by starting to do a design inside each of those holes to decorate it. And I'm gonna let you choose the design that you want. I have done like, I've seen this example using like daisies in the background. Um, I thought it was really cool, way a different spin on this. So I'm gonna let you guys decide what you do, but you're gonna fill in the negative space really solid to make sure that you aren't doing, like that you have a good pattern back there. So, um, one thing that you could do is start looking for the pattern that you want. Uh, I'll just do daisies as the example up here. And I'm gonna start drawing a daisy back here inside my first negative space. And then I'm gonna fill in the background here that doesn't fit with some shading. You could use Sharpie for this. You could use color, color pencils. You could use just graphite shading. I'm gonna use graphite because that's what I have the most here. And I'm gonna fill in this whole negative space so that you have kind of a different skeleton. Okay, now that you have kind of like this design to use for the negative space, then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make sure that I have some shading on the skeleton as well on the positive part of my drawing. So I need to come in and shade this out in entirety and then come in and do the design. In. Now the person that I saw do this, I'm gonna flash you a quick picture of what they did, linking that. Google Classroom so that you can see it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have fun with this. Do whatever pattern you want in your negative space. Bye.